Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Amp Prime that is originally from Cricut here in the U.S. And as we can see, this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled. So as we're going through the setup process here, it tells us that the device was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with the same account that was previously on the phone. And that's basically what the Google Lock consists of, is that now when you do a factory reset to an Android device, if you don't first take off the Google account that's on it, it's going to ask you to sign into that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the device was locked and they didn't have the login information and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a very common scam that happens all the time these days, unfortunately, in the buying and selling of you mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this specific lock from this model without having to have the login information for the previous Google account. It's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right into your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So as you can see, the device was on the Google Lock screen, and then as we ran our program that removed the lock for us, it restarted the phone, and so now we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps without seeing that lock. So I'm just going to hit start here and start going step by step. We don't need Wi-Fi, so I'm actually just going to turn that off and then keep going. And then we have to agree to Samsung's terms and conditions, so we're going to do that. And then it's going to ask us if we want to enter a name, and we don't need to do that. We also don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step. And then there's all the Google services part. And it's looking like we were past the previous point where it used to ask for the Google account, so that is a very good sign. So I'm going to skip through everything else here. All right, and there we go. We are now all the way through the setup process and at the home screen, we have full access to all of the apps and features and settings. And it's just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings and show you exactly what we are working with. So under about device, we can see that we do have a Galaxy Amp Prime is what they call it. And then the model number there, the SMJ320AZ is specifically this model device again on Cricut. So if you have one of these models that has the Google Lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.